but ask the animals, and they will teach you. Or ask the birds of the air, and they will tell you. Speak to the earth, and it will teach you. Every one of these knows that the hand of the Lord has done this. Oh, look at the otters. These are spotted-necked otters. They're named that because of the brown and white spotting on their throat and underside. They also have fully webbed feet and a flattened tail that makes them really good swimmers and floaters. Look at them play. They like to play together in their small family group, but spotted-necked otters also enjoy playing alone. These otters are brown, but when they go underwater, they kind of look silver. That's because of the air bubbles that are trapped under their fur. In the wild, spotted-necked otters live in Central Africa. Many of them live in Lake Victoria and the Lakes Tanganyika. They love water and spend most of their time in it. They prefer clear water with rocks. In the clear water, spotted-necked otters hunt for fish, their favorite food. They have many long, stiff, sensitive whiskers, which help them find the fish moving in the water. And they can dive up to 45 feet deep. That's longer than a school bus. Like most otters, spotted-necked otters like to float along on their back while they're eating. Can you imagine floating on your back while you're eating? That would be hard. But God made otters that way, so it's not hard for them. These are beautiful otters. I've had fun watching them swim here at the zoo. Unfortunately, there's less and less spotted otters living in the wild in Africa. They are hunted, and their habitat has been destroyed. But the thing that has affected them the most is the pollution in the lakes that they live in. Humans have allowed chemicals and trash to get into the lakes where the spotted-necked otters live. The water is not as clear as it used to be. Just like the pollution hurts the otters, we have the power to pollute with our words and hurt others. The Bible says, When you talk, do not say harmful things, but say what people need, words that will help others become stronger. Then, what you say will help those that listen to you. We have a choice. We can say hurtful things or helpful things. When we say hurtful things, we pollute. We make it hard for others to live around us. But just like the otters that love the clear, unpolluted water, other people will love living near us when we use kind, encouraging words. The Bible says, we can even make other people stronger by saying things that encourage them. I want to help others. I don't want to pollute the air around me. I want to help keep it clean so those around me can become stronger. I choose to say kind words. What about you?